Continuing her struggle to master English, she wrote a variety of short stories and plays. One such play, called Ideal, embraced her passion for the movies and admiration for her favorite actress, Greta Garbo. The story, set in Hollywood, 1934, follows a fictitious movie star named Kay Gonda on her quest to find one man of integrity among her fans. In this scene, we get a glimpse at an early formulation of Ayn Rand's ideal man. I saw a man once when I was very young. He stood on a rock high in the mountains. His arms were spread out and his body bent backward. And I could see him as an arc against the sky. He stood still and tense, like a string trembling to a note of ecstasy no man had ever heard. I have never known who he was. I knew only that this was what life should be. And I came home and my mother was serving supper and she was happy because the roast had a thick gravy. And she gave a prayer of thanks to God for it. Don't listen to me. Don't look at me like that. I tried to renounce it. I thought I must close my eyes and bear anything and learn to live like the others, to make me as they were, to make me forget. But I can't forget the man on the rock. <laughs> 